Well, there's a lot happening in the tropics. We are already into the Greek alphabet, and we are into the second letter of the Greek alphabet. This is Tropical Storm Beta, with winds at 40 miles per hour, spinning around here in the western Gulf of Mexico. This has been a crazy one to forecast. I mean, we still don't have a true handle on what exactly is going to happen with Beta, because the models have really been in disagreement as we head into the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. We're going to see it move towards the Texas coast, and then possibly paralleling it. But there are are going to be a few options as to where exactly beta heads. It could end up moving in our general direction the next several days. It could end up moving out back into the Gulf again. So it's definitely going to impact the Texas coastline as we head through this weekend. However, also we have Hurricane Teddy. Teddy is a powerful hurricane with those winds at 125 miles per hour moving to the northwest at 14 expected to stay out over the open ocean here. At least at this point, it could start to see a little bit more of a westerly track as we head into next week. Uh, so we'll have to watch for that potential. But for the most part, it is going to be a fish storm. Uh, as far as the alpha storm, that was also named today, getting into this Greek alphabet. This one affecting Portugal and now moving in through northern Spain as we head in through the weekend as well. It's really not going to amount to much as far as uh, they are concerned either, as it is going to be over land and that will weaken it considerably, uh, weakening it very shortly into a low. So we do have a lot to talk about now with beta there. There is Teddy spinning around here in the Atlantic and we have two more areas of interest that could also be developing into our next name systems here one in the northeastern Atlantic and one wave coming off the African coast so busy days ahead and it has already been busy with all of our names this year being uh, crossed off the list starting with Arthur of course we went through and we had uh, Teddy and uh, Teddy still out there in the Atlantic and then Wilfred so we have been through all of our Atlantic hurricane names and now we are into those uh, those Greek alphabet names I got to cross beta off the list now since that is our latest one good thing we have a whole lot more uh, Greek alphabet letters to name our storms because it looks Looks like we're going to have an active month yet ahead and we'll keep you updated.